Hi everyone. I know it's been a while. It's been since like February, I think. Yes, February, since I last posted a YouTube video. And I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not um, going to stop posting videos. And I know that I haven't like I literally just started but um it's it's been a rough last year for everyone um yeah and it's been a rough last two months for me especially with my grandmother passing in February and in January and February without me getting my unemployment and I needed to have a laser beam focus of finding a full-time job which I did at the furniture store and I'm working at now so yeah um it's been quite a journey because I in March of 2020 when I was still working at my clothing retail store I was furloughed and I was told it was just gonna be a week or two and then that week or two turned into several months and then in June they laid me off like they did a bunch of other people like I basically just got an I, I got an email from the CEO saying like, hey, look, we had a plan in place. Um, we weren't doing well financially before COVID and then COVID happened and we have to lay off people. And it actually mentioned in the email how many people they were laying off, which was like the number was like 4,000 something. I don't remember. It was like 4,000 something. So I know I'm not the only person. And that's just from my own um that was from my own job that then my then job <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all had like before COVID jobs and then like after COVID after COVID jobs um yeah and then I was stuck at home from June of 2020 to like November when I got a job uh, during the holidays at the games at the game store and I worked there for a couple of months and during the holidays the pay was okay but after the holidays the hours really slowed down and I was only working like a day or two out of the week and I wasn't working very many hours on the one or two days that I would work and then some weeks I wouldn't work any hours there at all and it was really bad. And then you throw on top of the mix that for some reason in January, they stopped giving me my unemployment. They said there was a return to work issue or something, which I don't understand because, I mean, I was working in December and I got, I don't think I got any payments in December, but I was working in November and I got some payments in November. So, like, I don't understand where the work return to work issue came because it like it came after it already started working there for a couple of weeks I, I don't know whatever I'm not worried about it because I'm working full-time now because in March I left my uh, game store job and now I'm working in a furniture store that I have full-time hours at because I was really just looking for something that would give me full-time hours and it would be at least enough, you know, hours and enough pay to cover bills. And yes, I do have a few bills, even though I split my phone bill three ways and I, we split the rent here three ways, you know, I still have to buy some groceries and then I have, you know, my car insurance and et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go on about bills because... That would be a very boring conversation. I want to bore people with bills. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing anybody wants to talk about is bills. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to move on from that topic. Where was I? Oh, yeah. The job. It was a very... It's been a... In, in the year. It's been such a weird transition. Like, um just all together <laughs> from everywhere and then 
not just job wise but also my sleep schedule wise like i guess my sleep schedule so messed up during covid like it's not even funny and i wasn't even on a normal like a normal like nine to five job sleep schedule before covid but like i was at least awake every day by 10 or 11 and you know in bed by one or two well after covid oh gosh i'm not sure i even want to go there (laughs) There, the hours I stayed up to some nights, or the hours that I slept into some days, uh, it was bad. Like, like, really bad. Like, go to sleep at four o'clock in the morning, bad, and wake up at two in the afternoon and be like, what happened, bad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I am um, getting to my point. We'll get there. Or I'm getting to what I came on here for. Which is, I came on here to say that I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not quitting Twitch. I'm not um, going to give up on any of this. I'm just trying to figure out my scheduling. And, like, when is the best time to um, post my videos. Because I want to put out good quality content. We don't want any more plant disasters like what we had with Chewbacca. He came out like a lonely, sad, I don't know, deserted Wookiee because I forgot to water him. But like in the last two weeks of filming that, I my grandmother passed in February. So I had that going on. On top of the fact that I had my issue with the employment office and then, <laughs> which still isn't resolved, but it's fine. Because I'm not, I'm not worried about it anymore. I'm not worried about it anymore. I got a full-time job with good hours and, you know, decent pay. We're good for now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, coming on here to try to get people's sympathy or to ask for things. Like, I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't even like taking money from family members. Yeah. I don't even like taking money from people when people offer me money. Like, I'm just, I don't know. This is my personality. I just don't like, I also don't like trying to come off as, like, one of those people that, like, I'm trying to get people's sympathy or I'm trying to, like, make people feel bad for me. Like, I'm not trying to do that, you know. And I'm also not trying to, you know, downplay anybody else who, you know, I know people have gone through some things, like, some things, like, people have, like, really bad things that don't even in the last year don't even compare to I'm just gonna call it my transition my 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 job transition from the clothing store to the game store to the commission furniture place yeah we're just gonna call it our job transition over the last year okay and then with me writing my book, which was on the good note, because I went from like 15,000 words to like 55,000 words in that gap of time between June 2020 and November 2020 when I got hired at the game store. So that was good, but I'm still also trying to figure out how I'm going to work in writing on the book, um, which should be a little bit easier, I think, maybe than the YouTube channel because, like, you know, I want to look nice and presentable when I'm on video. But when I'm writing, you know, I can write, like, 30 minutes in the evening after, like, before bed. Um, and it doesn't matter if I look like a hot, you know, hot mess. <laughs> when I'm typing in the computer, I look like a hot mess. But it's fine. It's, you know, nobody's going to see me. Um, but for the channel, I just want to look, you know, presentable. I guess that's just like, maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out scheduling and figure out when to work the best time in for the book to write on the book, to get back on in the habit of writing every day. Because during COVID, I also got out of the habit of writing every, every day there near the end, like at the beginning, I was like, this is great. I'm like cranking out a bunch of words. And then there near the end, I was just like, I don't know how to explain it. I was just like, I was just like, I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm just going to be pretty honest. I did not know what to do with myself. There at the end, like, I, I don't know. That's what they call cabin fever or not, but maybe, I don't know. But I, I literally just did not know what to do with myself. Like, I, yeah. 
I, um, to the point where I thought maybe I might have been losing it. And maybe that was just a me thing. I don't know if anybody else felt like that too. Or like they really did not, just really did not know did with themselves. Um, to a point where they almost kind of felt like they might be going crazy. Um, yeah. But anyways, we're better now. We're good. We're better now. Um, I mean, and we and we're better now with as far as things go, as far as my grandmother goes. You know, that's getting better. It's not as bad as it was um, during the end of that, like, Chewbacca video where, like, literally I was filming the end of that, like, I think, like, four days after her passing, which, yeah, it was, it, so, um, yeah. So if I sounded upset, like, really upset, it was not because of the sad, um, Wookie. <laughs> I was not because of the sad Wookie. I know. I shouldn't laugh. This is not funny. I killed a plant. That's not good. But um, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> and I give everybody permission to laugh at me too. It's fine. You guys can laugh at my um, failure of... Um, my <laughs> failure of trying to make a tree of it. Um, my failure of a plant. It's fine. I'm, I, you know, I give you permission. Perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, you know, so if I can't laugh at myself, you know, then how can I, how can I laugh at anything else if I can't laugh at myself, but I, I you know, kind of sense of humor what I have <laughs> if I didn't, I didn't, um, you know, laugh at myself from time to time. But yeah, if I sounded really, really sad, it had nothing to do with Chewy. Although I was disappointed the plant didn't come out um, as fluffy as I would have liked it to have. It's fluffy. Yes. <laughs> as fluffy as I would have liked it to. But I was really, really upset about my grandmother and her passing. So that's that's what I was actually really upset about Was was that. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much all I came on here to say was that I'm not quitting. I'm just, I'm just figuring out how I'm going to, um, go about still working on the book. This is very important to me to get the book done. And also, you know, put out some videos that will be good content like you know I want my videos to be a success I want them to be entertaining and enjoyable to watch and um you know maybe even a little humorous like if I can you know brighten someone's day or make you laugh for no reason that's good too <laughs> it's good to laugh for no reason sometimes um and it's okay you guys can laugh at me all you want I give you permission it's fine um yeah then you know my video was a success, even if the plant didn't come out as fluffy as I would have liked it. And uh, yeah, I am. I'm still working on a video. It's coming. Another one's coming. I don't know when I'm gonna post it because I'm taking myself off of a schedule, and I wanna, you know, make sure that I do everything I can to make sure it comes out, you know, good. The only thing I'm gonna hint at is that it is something that I could wear and it needs to be sewed, but it's not clothing. So I'm just gonna leave you with that and let you guys figure out what it might be. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everybody is staying safe and that they're having a good day and that they, you know, everything is well with everybody. And that everyone just take everything one day at a time. Because sometimes that's all you can do. So hopefully everybody out there is just, you know, trying to take things one day at a time. And um, hopefully everything gets better and soon. Very soon. But, you know, we'll see. I like to, I like to be a glass is half full type of person and not 
My glasses have an empty type person. That's what I try to be. Glasses, the glasses, and my glass is actually half, half full. But you can't really see it because it's kind of black. But maybe you can kind of see it. I don't know. But the glass is half full, not half empty. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now. And I will see everybody in the next video.